everybody. Today, Elon's Conservative is going to teach us how to make a leather ball. That way I can put my suckers in it. Oh, polar bear, is that all you think about? No, I think about pie, too. Figures. Okay. Uh, we're going to make a very simple leather bowl. You want to start out with uh, veg tan leather. Uh, so this is going to make a very tiny bowl. Won't hold many suckers, but uh, it'll be enough for polar bear. But you want to use veg tan for two reasons. One, it can be wet molded, and two, it can be stamped. This was from the uh, scrap bin at Tandy Leather. So I'm just going to trim the edges just a little bit to make a couple of these edges rounded. And, of course, you don't have to be perfect unless you're OCD, and I'm not. Okay, the next step, we'll be wetting this and then stamping it. So, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, the weather's wet, and ideally, you want it to dry to where it's back to its natural color and slightly cool. This is a Still a little bit damp, but that's okay. I'm gonna take this tool and just uh, go around the edge. Okay, there's uh, three of the stamps, and I'll continue around the edge and be back in a few minutes. Now, don't tell! It's a secret! Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, we have the stamping done, and uh, I think it uh, looks very nice. It's not exactly precise, but... Uh, that's okay, it, uh, it works for me. Now the next step is to soak this and soak it good. Because we're going to be wet molding it. And you really do not want to use something metal to uh, mold over because it will stain the leather. Which is not a big deal if you're uh, going to dye it black. But since we're keeping this natural... It's a big deal. So yeah, uh, plastic or glass will work. Back in a few. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, this leather is very, very wet. I find that using warm water works best for me. So all we're going to do now is take our object that we're going to mold over, and kind of center it. And all you do is really just wrap it up around here. It's not, it's going to have waves and curves in it. And you could tie it up at this point, but I'm just going to hold it. And we'll see the uh, how it uh, holds itself up uh, after it dries. Our leather bowl has dried overnight. And, as you can see, it uh, retains its shape. Now the next step, if you wanted to, would be to dye it. But we're going to leave this natural. So the final step is putting a leather finish on it. 
In this case, we're going to use satin sheen and apply it with a uh, wet dauber, which is made out of wool. They're called a wool dauber. So. Oops, spilled a little bit. Obviously, the inside and the outside will be done separately. I'm going to have to work in that wrinkle there. But the satin sheen imparts um, a matte finish. They also have one that has a uh, very shiny finish on it. And usually I'll put on about two coats. The dye does, I mean the, the, the finish does darken the leather just a hair, but it's uh, not that much. Okay, we'll let this uh, dry, and then we'll do the inside, and our bowl will be finished. The outside has uh, dried now. And all we have to do now is seal the inside. And basically, this provides a waterproof coating. Now, this is the medium-sized wool dauber from Tandy Leather. But if you don't have a wool dauber, you can uh, use uh, a clean, new El Cheapo kitchen sponge. Again, moistened. I'm going to have to wash Polar Bear's sheet here. And when this dries, it will be perfect for your spare change, your keys, or whatever. And this bowl will be uh, part of the non-lock part of my uh, 200 uh, subscriber uh, giveaway, which will be uh, starting in probably about a week. Yeah, Porch Pirates put things a little bit behind schedule. But that's okay. We'll uh, survive. Can't put my suckers in them yet. Got to drive first, polar bear. Wah! Polar bear. Okay.
Okay, so there will also be another leather goodie for the non uh, lock part of the uh, giveaway. But that's going to be a surprise. Thank you and have a great day.